In this beautiful and amazing and perfect guide, you're going to learn how to download and install BSL shaders from Minecraft 1.19.2. As you can see, we have shaders right now on Minecraft 1.19.2 and we have BSL shaders, which are one of my favorite shaders of all time. Let's get it started. Now, the first thing before we get to the downloading stuff part that you want to do in here is to actually run Minecraft 1.19.2, just the vanilla latest release edition. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher, find the latest release and click on play. Just wait for this to load until Minecraft opens to the main menu. Once Minecraft has loaded to the main menu, as you can see right here, it's about to drop me into the main menu it's minecraft 1.19.2 just vanilla no mods no shaders no nothing yet once this is over here once you can see this screen click on quit game because this is going to be a requirement for this tutorial to work without any issues go ahead and click on quit game and also make sure that you close out from the minecraft launcher completely you don't want to have the minecraft launcher open at all look there's multiple ways of getting shaders into minecraft but there is two really really popular there's the optifine route and then there is the iris route unfortunately optifine 1.19.2 is not out yet i'm going to leave a link in the description on how to install optifine in case you want to do this in the future using Optifine, but since Optifine is not out right now, we're going to go with the Iris route, which is also kind of simple, but I know many of you prefer Optifine because it's more popular, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's get started on getting BSL. The first thing you want to do is click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download BSL shaders. You can look through the screenshots and read through the guide right here. But the main thing here is to click where it says download BSL here. That is going to redirect you over here to the BSL website. You're going to click on files right here where it says files, beautiful files, files. There we go. <laughs> we're over here. And we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find 1.19.2. When you come over here, there's a chance that 1.19.2 is already out. But as you can see right now, there is no 1.19.2. Oh my God, what do you do? There is no 1.19.2. Clickbait, dislike, dislike. No, no, don't worry. You could have still download the 1.19 version. That's what we're actually going to do. Click on download file for 1.19. Again, if 1.19.2 is here, go ahead and download that one. Right now, we're going to download the 1.19 because this is still going to work. Click on download file. That is going to redirect over here in five seconds. The file is going to download just wait five seconds and there we go it's downloading in my case it's asking me where i want to save it but for you it's just going to download click on save you're going to get a zip file that we're going to drag and drop into the desktop go ahead and drag and drop it into the desktop now we have bsl the zip file we need to install some shader runner thing right like iris or optifine like i said optifine is not out yet the 1.19.2 going to leave a link in the description that you can check in the future to see if optifine was updated but in the meantime we're going to install iris but not before i tell you about minecraft apex hosting if you need a minecraft server you can use the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex hosting. Now they provide you with a lot of advantages like giving you Java, Bedrock, Instant, like two clicks and you get your own server. You could have mods, you could run mod packs, like if you wanna play Hourcraft, pick someone, etc. a lot of things. And what I personally love about Apex hosting is that you could access the server console through your phone, making it so much easier for me to be laying down in bed and, and then troll my friends to my phone. I think that's amazing. So if you wanna run a Minecraft server, click on the first link in the description, get 25% off and have an amazing, beautiful, fast, protected 24 seven server right here with Apex hosting. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. What we need to do now is actually install iris we do have a written guide on how to download and install iris of course we do because we have everything click on the third link in the description which will bring you over here you can read through it and everything but the main thing here is to click where it says download iris here that is going to redirect over here and we're going to click download now once we click download now that is going to bring you over here where you're going to click download universal jar now let me tell you something well in my case it's asking me where to save it for you it's going to download automatically chances are a small percentage of you have an outdated version of java and when you try to run the installer for iris it doesn't work or this little java jar file doesn't appear you don't see this little cop in there don't worry because i'm going to leave a link in the description for those of you that need to update the java on your computer because any minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have either java 18 or java 17 i'm going to leave a link in the description on how to do that i'm not going to show you how to do it in this video but we do have a written guide very detailed with screenshots and everything on how to do that anyways that's for those of you that can run this installer it doesn't seem to work or that maybe you get a little java error after a java runtime error you'll fix it with that anyways once we have the shaders and we have the iris installer what we're going to do is double click the iris installer so you remember at the beginning of this tutorial we run minecraft 1.19.2 vanilla right well guess what now we don't have to open it now we could start installing stuff straight away and we don't have to do that step in the middle of the tutorial we could just start with the installation go ahead and double click on iris installer that is going to open this little menu in here in here you're going to select iris and sodium just the iris and sodium ones not select the outdated one you don't want the outdated you just want this one and then make sure that you have 1.19.2 now if you're watching this like a couple months from now there is a chance that 1.19.2 is not here because minecraft has been outdated but by that time optifine is probably already out and you could use the optifine route because this Thing will be outdated that's for those of you that will comment like three months from now saying hey this is a clickbait that wasn't there i can't see that no it's not a clickbait it's just that iris gets updated and some versions get taken out anyways select 1.19.2 
click on install and this should install really really fast it should be like less than five seconds as you can see we already have an installation succeeded and we could now close out from the installer and we could even delete it get get rid of that out of here i don't want to see you anymore man go ahead and launch your minecraft launcher now once we install iris go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and if you were a successful individual and follow every single step as me you should have iris and sodium automatically selected in the bottom left as you can see right there iris and sodium 1.19.2 we already have it we're done installing iris go ahead and click on installations that is going to bring you over here make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected you're not going to see iris i'm letting you know you're not going to see iris okay now what we're going to do is hover over iris and sodium and we're going to click on this little folder which is going to open a bigger folder with a lot of files don't care i don't care about all these files we're looking for one specific folder called shader packs as you can see i have it right here in the s right you just go alphabetically find the s shader packs should be there in case it's not there don't freak out don't freak out just i'm gonna get rid of mine right what happens now we don't have this folder oh my god freaking out dislike in the video no 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 calm down just click right click click new folder and just name it shader packs right this is for those of you that don't have this folder you could create it yourself shader packs folder create it everything fixed go ahead and minimize your launcher and in here in this shader packs folder once we find it or create it we're going to drop the bsl shaders go ahead and drop it in now we have bsl shaders we could close this folder open the minecraft launcher back up and click play on sodium and if by any reason some of you didn't get the iris and sodium in here you could create a new installation and find it through here just the iris sodium loader in here click create and you should have an iris instance right here but yeah go ahead and click play and let's test out the shaders now once you're in the game and you open it through iris we're going to click on options and as you can see if you click on video settings everything should look different everything looks so changed and beautiful and amazing you're going to click on shader packs in the top and as you can see we have bsl shaders make sure that shaders are enabled you click on it and then you have to make sure you enable them right by clicking on them once we see bsl shaders in here we're going to click on them and we're going to click apply once this loads you just give it a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds it should load and get yellow click on done click on done come back here to the main menu click on single player launch a world now once we launch a world as you can see we have shaders on right now well it's nighttime so you can really appreciate them very well let me change the time to daytime so you could actually appreciate bsl shaders to the beauty of them i went ahead and changed the time to daytime so you could appreciate the beautiful of bsl shaders during the daytime and as you can see bsl shaders are running the game is running good you have shaders now in minecraft 1.19.2 you have bsl shaders again this is the iris route if later on optifine has been updated i recommend that you use optifine because i love optifine and we're in love and we're going to get married one day so yeah that is going to be in the description if it's already updated so yeah check the description to see if optifine is already updated i hope you enjoyed this video and as always bye bye